Hi, this is Eternal King here bringing you another LOR video today. So, I want to do a discussion video on why Path of Champions matters. So, obviously, LOR devs have been putting in a lot of effort into the new Constellation system. If you don't know, this is a model that, you know, functions very similar to most gacha games, where basically you pick a favorite character, um, you know, it could be Aatrox, it could be Bard, it could be Darius, or Leona, or Nico. It doesn't matter which character. You pick a character, and then you're incentivized to spend premium currency on making that character better. This is exactly how gacha games work, um, and they're very successful. So, all of a sudden, your Nico, who, you know, is a pretty uh, straightforward card in competitive LOR, can do things like each round, the first ally you play with a different subtype than other allies costs one less. So Nico doesn't do this normally in LOR competitive. Uh, she does not act like a subtype ramp card. It would be highly unbalanced if she did. But in Path of Champions, anything goes. As long as you're willing to pay the premium currency to get all of these passive uh, nodes, then your Nico will arguably be better than the Nico that I play in PvP. Um, of course it'll be better. So why does that matter? Well, at the end of the day, as much as us competitive players, you know, whether it is, you know, Swim, who used to be the top player in Standard, before Standard even existed, um, before there was a distinction between um, Standard and Eternal, it was just one format. It used to be Swim was the top player. Then it was Majin Bay was a top player in Standard. Um, I'm arguably the top player in Eternal. Regardless of what we may think about LOR as a video game, you know, regardless of what deck we tell you is the best deck, is Eddie the best champion, is Rise playable now, you know, what is the best aggro deck? Is it a Zero Relia after the upgrades? Or is it still Annie, Jin, or Ziggs Poppy? Uh, regardless what us top players will tell you, the average player of LOR, 99% of players who play LOR do not care what we think. <laughs> Whether it is Majin Bay or myself, or if Swim was to come back into the game in a big way, um, nobody would care. The vast majority of card players would not care what we think about LOR. Um, they would care, however, about getting their constellations and Path of Champions. And the reason why that's good for LOR is because the more people that play LOR, regardless if it's single player, whether it's standard PvP or eternal PvP, the more players, the better. And it doesn't matter if they're amazing players or bad players, or maybe they're good in single player and bad in PvP, or maybe they're good in PvP and bad in single player. It doesn't matter. The important thing is that people play LOR. You know, at the end of the day, I might say that it's really funny and really interesting that I can pilot a deck with Bull Elnuk in it and beat other players playing Eddie. Eddie being the most competitive card in LOR, Bull Elnuk being the least competitive card in LOR. And I might think it's a big flex that I can beat, you know, uh, Masters level players with emblems that they have spent time and effort getting, with titles they've spent time and effort getting, I might think it's really funny to beat them with a, bell, a Bull Elnuk deck. But that flex does not matter to 99% of players. That's the reality. <laughs> that is the reality of the, situations, of, of, of the situation. So the more people that play LOR, the better. Constellations are a good thing. Single player updates and content updates of any kind for LOR are a good thing. Because they, those are the people that keep the servers alive. It's not the people who think they're the best or are the best... And it's not the people who are who play meta decks or don't play meta decks. It's not people who play um, standard or eternal. It's just people who play LOR. So at the end of the day, uh, the new updates are definitely a good thing. Um, I would say that if you've been struggling with the PvP format of your choice and you're bored, then play Path of Champions. Um, I believe Sunny has essentially given up on standard for the time being. He's exclusively playing um, Path of Champions right now, right? And I, I doubt that when Eternal Ladder unlocks in June, that, you know, he might play Eternal for a bit till like about Diamond, and then he'll probably go back to Path of Champions again afterwards. Because, and that's fine, because at the end of the day, we're all LOR players, right? 
whether we're, we're the best, the worst, whether we're frustrated with PvP, whether we love PvP, um, whether we play meta decks or off meta decks, whether we play standard or eternal, whether we're masters or we're bronze, we're all LOR players and content is content. Um, I won't be playing Path of Champions on my channel. I will never play Path of Champions. It's not interesting to me. Um, I believe that the new set um, is still pretty fresh in, in, in regards to Eternal. There's still a lot of ground to cover with the new set um, that has not been covered yet. Standard is standard. Standard's never going to change. It's just Eddie Fest, blah, blah, blah. Um, Eternal's not like that. There's a lot of room for the new cards. And uh, that, you know, one deck I showed off there with the Tudor Nico is just one example. But uh, yeah, come back to LOR. The game is doing well. And again, don't shame your girlfriend or your boyfriend or your best friend or your mom or your dad or your brothers or your sisters or anyone else that you can rope into playing this game. As long as they're playing LOR, they are LOR players and we are welcome to have them. This is Eternal King signing out.